everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today, this design, if you already seen, there's already a design that is the cat that I use for line twisting. And it's a design that I started making it because what happened is I used to use the printed heart with the kitty cat face. And then the rest is just a balloon um, 260 for just simple legs, belly, back legs, and the rest, the tail. So that was kind of like line twisting, but I was thinking, oh, looking for another design because they don't print or they don't sell anymore those round heart balloons. I mean, round heart. Those heart balloons that have that uh, face of um, the kitty cat. So now I was thinking another fast design and it came out this. Now I was inspired and when I saw that video. So if you wanna go ahead, check out, he's an amazing balloon twister, he has that video. And I was, I think the design that I'm making is kind of faster and because I love using the scrap, it works perfect for me. So I hope it works for you. You tell me in the comments, what do you think? And let's enjoy this tutorial. So the cool thing is you will need one balloon. If you have a 160, great. Uh, 160 Decomex, I think it's gonna be even better. But if it's not, it's okay. You can just do it with a balloon 260, uh, any color. So you can ask the kid, what is your favorite color? Usually cats can be purple. They can be green, any color, especially if you're using balloons. So I have a bag of balloons. I see the purple, but I'm thinking, and a purple is a good color, orange. Maybe we can try yellow. Um, it can be any color, really. I'm just um, kind of like, like, you see, here, if you see, I have lots of balloon scraps. <laughs> In other videos I show, you know, the mess I have here on my table. But um, yeah, it can be any color, even pink, yeah, any color, light blue, <laughs> look at all that. But it will be nice if it's an entire balloon. So I didn't want to take one from my apron, but I'm going to do it. Only because I was thinking about yellow to make this cat yellow. I, again, any color, whatever you have available, a 260 balloon. So you're going to inflate it. Approximately giving like eight, nine finger tail. You're gonna loosen there, tie, and now it's all the twisting part. I measure approximately four finger bubble, pinch, twist. Then I'm going uh, with a one finger bubble, pinch, twist. Then I'm going with three finger bubble, twist. And then I'm gonna make two loops of three finger each, or as long as you want to be the ears. But approximately like three, Finger loop doesn't think good enough. Uh, it can be even smaller, trust me, you know. It's depending on what do you like. Now, in order to this doesn't get down, I like to kind of roll it and secure things like this. It's a way to, for me to have those secure, those loops. Then from there, I'm gonna make another three finger long and close this triangle. Twist, okay. And so you have something like this. Now, from here, you're gonna go to the pinch twist. And that was approximately four finger bubble. And then you end this way. This, if you make this look much longer, it can be a pretty cute, what, well, um, bunny. But this is gonna be the head for the kitty cat. And then you just measure here two finger bubble, like for a neck. And all this, you have to consider it's gonna be the front legs, the belly and the back legs and the rest the tail if it's possible. So you can squeeze a stretch and measure three finger bubble of no more than four for legs. Now, you can have this angle, so the kitty cat is gonna have looking down. I don't like that that much. So that's what I like to make a very small bubble and pinch twist and that effect I like it because it helps the design to kind of now be more straight then you're gonna measure three or four no more finger bubble and then another back legs and this is the thing this is the tail it's not that long so that's why you decide maybe you have a balloon scrap I love balloon scraps. So what I'm thinking is you can, if you're in a hurry loop, you can just bend it and say, yeah, that's the tail for the kitty cat. And it's going to be cute. 
Okay, so let's leave it this way just for now until I, you know, finish the whole design. Now I, it's time for balloon scraps. This, look, it's gonna be good enough for this part that the kitty cats have. It's like, what is that? <laughs> the muscle, muscle, cheeks, well, this part. So you're gonna see <laughs> just a little bit and you just make one finger bubble, another one finger bubble, twist it together. I like to lock them. And then I twist these two as a double pinch twist. I like that, but you, the idea is you make two pinch twists this way, and then one more. So it's one finger bubble, pinch twist, and that is gonna be the same this way, look. Okay? Two double pinch twists and then one in the bottom. If you want, that can color it a little bit of red for the tongue or put a little bubble there, red or pink for the tongue, but for sure I like here to attach the nose. So you will see, whatever you have left over, you just lose the air because this is what you need, a little balloon scrap to do this. You can always say then if you wanna pre-made this and have it ready for kitty cats, or you can just do it. At the end, it really doesn't take that much. Sometimes you think, oh, it's gonna take much to blow in on tiny balloons, but not really, you know. It's, I think, something that gives a lot of detail when you just add something that change colors. So you have something like that. Okay. Now, what else from here? Um, let me just pass this around a couple of times. Um, just need the pink balloon that is going to be on top. Unless the kid wants another color for the nose as black, it's fine. Now, Usually kitty cats, they have crazy eyes like orange. So you just look what scraps you have with you available. Like I see, orange, cool. I even have blue, so it could be any color that you have into a balloon scrap. And then you're gonna just blow, this is gonna be for the eyeballs. Yep, it can be even white if you want, but you just need a little bit. You tie it and you make like, no more than three finger bubble look, or it's like an inch. Okay, and then twist, 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 and then another soft and squishable, same size bubble to eyeballs. Then you're gonna twist like this, lock, and make sure now you lose the air, you pop the rest, you don't need it, and then you tie double time so to be safe. In order to save time, this is good enough. You just gonna put it inside. So, Squish. So that's what I recommend you to make it soft and squishable. Those eyes. And take look at this. Look at that. Now the nose, another balloon scrap, you will find, and I'm gonna show you how I have the idea to use my balloon scrap. You just you can use the little end, just a little bubble, or you can always make a pinch twist, you know, and have a nose as a pinch twist, but I'm gonna leave it this time as a little bubble. It can be a 160 to 60. Pink, I love it for noses, but it can be any color. You put it right there, and then you just pass this around. And then if you have even more time, you can always make here another little bubble, or with your red sharpie, it can be the tongue. So I'm gonna just grab a red sharpie, and this design is gonna have the nose right here. It's gonna be just a little dot or a heart or whatever you think. It's gonna be the nose, the, the tongue, okay? Um, then uh, it's just, you, with your black Sharpie, what um, I think is gonna be cute is just make eye cat. So it's just like this. Look. Not as a circle, but they're more like, this. So there you go, your kitty cat, and it can be looking one side, can be looking straight, and it's everybody's gonna see that it's a kitty cat. This is the way I make kitty cats. Now, in my if you think about to make a, a cheetah, and you already have this yellow design, you just make the cheetah, cheetah prints, you know, or leopard, because some cats, you know, kitty cats, they have already that type of um, pattern, 
you know, and they are just kitty cats. So you can just make a couple and all depends how much time you have, you know, don't forget, play with that. All the time you can always add details, but all depend how much time you have with you. Okay, and it's option. You can do it around all the body. And this can be a very cool cut. You can make just stripes. <laughs> it can, you can do something if you want. If you want even, you can put some whiskers this side. Small whisker. Let's see what, how it will look. Look. Just that. Beautiful. It's just how much time you have with you. Because already as simple as you can see, it looks like a cat. Now, longer tail. Okay, let's see what happens if you say, Whoa, the kid, oh, but the tail is too short. I'm kitty cat. Let's make it longer. So you just, okay. So, loose here and there. And leave it as a, like if you have like a inch bubble or a finger bubble or two finger bubble, pinch twist. And then you just look for a balloon scrap. Look, this is a 160 deco mix. And it's yellow, so the, that will be cool because it's, the tail is going to be a little bit skinnier. But if you want to make it a, a thicker, just use, if you have a 260 scrap, you don't need much, just something that you can ask the kid, ah, how long? So I'm just adding another balloon scrap, making a pinch twist. So then you have the pinch twist with the 260, the pinch twist with the 160, it's almost the same, especially with deco mix. And then with the rest, you can always make this. Like a little S, then uh, you don't want it also that long, but like this will be good enough. So you can just tie and it will be good enough. So then you have a kitty cat with a cute long tail. Kids are gonna love it. Plus, this can be safe if you put wristbands. I love the wristbands, is you need something like this. You can find it with the kids' toys, baby toys, you know, like rattles. And then you're gonna attach all your um these um ponytails that you can find in the dollar tree it's a hundred for a dollar and 25 cents so i think it's worth it uh especially if you live in a windy place like me or if the event is outdoor it can save you know these balloons and for this design two of these will be better because you just grab the metal part pass it through and then keep the metal part with you and then pass it through the loop and there we go. So you will do it in both our uh, legs. So with two will be good enough. And then, and then from here, the kid, you know, you have to wear it this way. One, and then the other one. So that's gonna give the effect, and I like it, because it's gonna make the effect that the kitty cat is standing. And that's how, you know, like the kids love it. It can be like a puppet, you know? So this is a, a good thing, you know, that I recommend it and parents love it because at the end parents are going to be the one probably keeping the balloon in a fair and you know for birthday parties you know they any picture the kids they forget that they have it in their wrist and there's always a picture with the balloons um this can also be on a headband of course those plastic headbands you can uh, put it just with glue dots and it's going to stay there so there are so many different type of headbands these ones are so far my favorite because it's like thicker like approximately one inch you know or yeah so these ones are really cool okie dokie so now look i have another of my drawers i went to target i just came from target and i found it it's like yes i had to get it so now look at this i keep it you know balloons like our round balloons i keep it there uh, quick link balloons because I now using I and I think I love uh, quick links. You can do many things with quick links. So this is uh, the design. Thank you so much for watching my video. I trust me, practice and practice. You will see this is a very fast design, and I love the idea of balloon scraps. And before I finish this video, I want to share with you also what I found on Target, and I'm gonna test it. But look, they have this type of. Uh, I was thinking something that is gonna help me to find my scraps. So in a party, usually you kind of like will fill, and this one came three of these buckets, and the best part is just two dollars at Target. So you just need one that you can keep it um, with you inside your case. Like in my case, you know, you know my case. It's a uh, I like to have my husky. What is hand? 
I'm gonna show you. This is what I carry with me. Okay. So here I have, you know, balloons, sharpies, and dark business cards. Even here I have this um, what is my my new menu with um a lot of pictures. So those are ideas, and so that's a cool part that I'm gonna show you in the. Just keep watching this video. I have a, a gig yesterday, and for the first time, I used this system, and it works great. It has Velcro in the back, and that Velcro, then I have it the other side on my table. This like a, a portable table, so it works great. And then you don't have to carry the big heavy board, and the kids have a lot of choices, includes, including this that is surprised me. That means I'll choose something that is not on the menu. So it fits here. And now this can fit also here because when I'm in a party, having something like this is gonna help me to see better the scraps I have because I will reuse it, especially for designs like this. A balloon with one color balloon, it's good and bad. If you have many different colors, it's even you know better. It's so like uh what do you call a plus a, a you know like the x factor something that make your design you know pop out from others so i recommend you that so it's gonna be now my new thing i'm gonna try it for tomorrow i have uh, some events to do now i was then i found this and this one is six for two so my plan was to let me um take this uh come in two and it's two for six so why it's more expensive i'm gonna show you why you know you already can see what i'm doing but um let me see let me peel this so i can take it out because it's not like i'm gonna use both i was planning to use only one and it comes with this idea look so then we can hang so if there's not a space i need more space or clear so imagine this is my case i just can put it uh into the side just hanging there you know i was kind of like thinking how to have it there you know staying there I mean, look at this Ta -da! and it stays and balloons are light they are not that you know heavy and i think this is a way to i can try and see you know i keep my scraps there open and easy to find colors sizes because when you keep it in a bag in a pocket it's not gonna be easy to find, you know, for the little nose, for the eyeballs, you know, so it's gonna be easier this way. And then I can just, instead of this one, put this one here, it's another extra thing, yes, but this doesn't really, it's not heavy. So now that I change, instead of my big board, I'm gonna use just these ones, so it's even gonna be practical. So stay tuned and check out the video that I have that I made, it's a very short, you know, like a minute video, so you can see my new setup when I go to parties or events you know so i think it's good so let me know what do you think have a wonderful day ciao ciao oh wait don't forget like comment subscribe and on the description of all my videos you will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel like for example my address you can send balloons you can send things to co to decorate the back or something that you think you know it will be nice for me to have <laughs> thank you so much then you can always donate money on my Venmo and PayPal account. All money is very well appreciated because I can save it and I can get things like balloon apparels, outfits. Uh, I can get um, also save money for the next balloon convention that I wanted to go. That is going to be the Bling Bling Yang 2023. So it will be always fun, you know, I'm very well appreciated. It totally motivates me all the way that you can collaborate with this channel. Okay, okay. Have a wonderful day. Now, ciao, ciao. Hey everybody, I'm here at my event. I just wanted to share with you. This is one of our very fun picnics for So uh, I'm gonna be here for just two hours, but look the idea I have. It's like the menu portable, uh, portable, like you can portatio, portatio. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to move and take it out because I made it here with Velcro. You see? It has some Velcro. I'm gonna film it and in between there is Velcro. I'm gonna go the other side. Let me see. Okay, so look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Velcro. So you can take it out later when it's time to go. You see? And this table is foldable. And it's a small version. I think you can find it for $40 at a Walmart. You see? So the same is the same idea, a velcro. So it's gonna be easy to take it out. 
And look, in case in case it rains, this velcro can handle the rain, but also these are pockets, you know, and the, here is the hole. And it stays better that way. That way that paper doesn't get wet, you see? It's plastic. And that's my uh, today I'm using the floor pump, so this is my setup. Look. You see, there is my setup. Uh, I love pins on my case, but usually I tend to lose them. You know, I lose them, and that's kind of a bummer. This is the only one that is surviving so far. Uh, my, see all this. Okay, well, so here I am ready to touch balloons. I have all these choices that are just kind of fast, you know, designs things and then also I always tell you know there's kind of these ideas and then I have this that it surprised me I would choose a balloon that is not on the, my menu so so in case you get bored to the, make any of this you can always surprise me and there you go this is our, the wristbands I found it at a dollar store <coughs>